Hey guys, this is Rookie Duty here to play and commentate. So right now we have Dead Island Riptide, second in the sequel of Dead Island. What up? How surprising. Okay, so uh it's gonna spoil Dead Island 1 that came out what two years ago? Um, so I don't know who hasn't played that game yet, but it literally will be spoiled in the next couple minutes. Have fun! New game! And Man, I would really love to check out Logan because he's Caucasian, I'm Caucasian. I don't want to use guns right now. Knives, nah. Sam B, you're my bro. I took you last time. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go with new guy. Now, this new guy, his name's John. He's an ADF soldier. But screw that. We're just gonna call him Hugh Jackman. Because it's literally who it kind of looks like Hugh Jackman. So, it's Hugh My grandfather Jackman. fought the Japanese here in World War II and never left. Married a local girl. My father was native born and a sergeant major, so I'm second generation military. And from the time I was 10, I wanted to follow in their footsteps. I wanted to be a soldier and protect and defend this country against all enemies. Well, I did my job. Did what I was told. Always followed orders. Until the day they gave me an order I couldn't follow. You see, it's hard to describe how it feels when everything you believe in turns out to be a lie. When the people you trusted let the ones you love die. And none of my commanders... Yeah, so I'll just finish his story. He was a soldier. He wanted to keep the peacekeeping stuff going, uh, humanitarian. His boss was like, fuck you, and he got fired. resort on Benoit, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island... So this is what happened, Dead Island 1. But no, that wasn't to be. Hoodoo, you voodoo, bitch! Yeah, that's the beginning song. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamon saved my life. Soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on me. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really Oh, by the way, this the game literally starts out but they were where Dead Island ended. Literally. Totally it was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoit, well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Yerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. So, okay guys, in inspiration of a zombie game, I will be giving away Resident Evil 4 on the Xbox Coded Edition. Now, what you'll have to do is you will have to listen and count all the times I insert different audio, such as I might pull in some Awesome Powers and Gold member, maybe some MLP, maybe some South Park. I'll be throwing in clips like those to make the commentary a lot more fun, but I want you guys to keep track of all of those times and occurrences that I do, and whoever can get the closest number to how much I inserted, they shall get Resident Evil 6 and I think the amount's gonna be 1600 Microsoft points. It's a trap! At the final episode. Get your hands off me! I will what not accept hell? any guesses before get the final off, episode, me. okay? Get Have fun! Get it off. Sure. Anything else?
What's with the cops? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. The two others will come with me. Lab? Uh, hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man. I got motherfucking rights. Back off, Serpo, but just stay out of it. <laughs> More clusterfuck, guys! What the fuck, man? Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? UNACCEPTABLE! Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here. So, to fill in anyone who wasn't paying attention to the last game, the four characters that we have right now are immune to this infection so they have already been infected via a bite but the prison inmate in the orange jumpsuit and the uh, native lady they are not immune well the native lady in the sense that she is a carrier of the virus they have a very high so tolerance she just bit a guy. I've already administered three doses so how much longer you said we'd have results by now Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want him dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. Oh, God. My head. <sighs> oh, what the hell happened? Mm. Oh, motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. Oh, nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us. <laughs> right, that's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So, they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to How'd this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So. Right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. She started chasing that purple dragon. Like, heroin. And now everyone's split up, and I am now Hugh Jackman. Or uh, John. But I'm still gonna call him oh, Hugh Jackman this entire time. God, my head. Hey, where are the others? Well, they must have taken them when I was out. So, for any more details in the game contest, guys, please message me or check this out my channel. This is a fucking dog's breakfast. This is Colonel Hardy. The ship's been compromised. If you're down in the hold, I'm opening all the cell doors. I better head topside, get my bearings. Now you guys... Looks like the crew already bailed. This is not going to be an achievement run. This is going to be a very fast run, so... Collecting items like that is not going to be that important. 
since the fact is this game is called Dead Island. So you can see that we're on a boat, so it's not called Dead Ship. So somehow we're gonna have to get off this fucking boat. So just saying. Quick as a whip, kid. This boat's probably gonna crash or something. I need to find a weapon. That's a good idea, but first what we're going to do is we're going to increase our skills since the, we need to do it because it's customizable. So, touch of power, that's our fury attack, just some combat stuff. Just blah 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 blah, and then I'll just rack jack the thing all up. Yeah, I want to do that too. Just, I'm, I'm just going crazy, I don't really care. I got one more, so there, first row's done. Now let's go. Okay, flimsy crowbar. I hope there's no infected here. Because that would not be fun. Oh. oh, here we are. Your main attack would be the kick, which is just the left you bumper. Have to hold that on the area. Attacks. You hear me? We can't lose the engine room. We're losing power in the lower deck. If that happens, that entire area will be cut off. Does anyone copy this? Captain, we had to withdraw from the lower deck. We didn't... Take it, they're here! And that's a workbench. Poor bastard's still trying to command a dead ship. Since most of the game is going to be functioning on the idea of repairing your tools, most of the comedic jokes from this, this is game is this if isn't a, a survival for zombie the apocalypse. This is a weapon of air. Fuck! Holy crap! Damn ship's coming apart. Damn it. Damn Whoa! That doesn't look good. Have to extinguish that fire. Well, I wonder who that's gonna be. Hi, no idea. Okay, let's keep going. So again, this will not be uh, let's look around every crevice in this entire game to find every item. No, this is going to be as, as speedy as possible, so some objective uh, missions will All be right. forgotten. The way should be clear. Whoever took care of that, you deserve a commendation. Tis a lie! So let's get started even more! Because we have our first infected, or I should say walkers, since they're be different kidding me. of zombies. They're already here. Come on, that's really right. starting to Put get sick of this. Come on, let's go. Have that feel, fuck with. Okay, gotta kill this guy. Just gotta get my stamina up. Let's do this. Okay, good. Motherfucker, you stay down, bitch! Okay, are we clear? Yeah, we're, we're looking clear. Well, fun bags. The blue bar is uh, the zombies' uh, stamina. So once you knock that down to nothing, they will automatically fall over. Unless you have some sort of special attack that forces them to fall over. I've got to find a way out of here. Shit. I'm still alive. Everything's dead from the crackle. Oh, shit. I did not realize you were out. Now you can use first aid kits to heal, or energy drinks, because a monster or a Red Bull always heals a man up. So the first breed of infected that we have, I shouldn't, I should stop saying infected since we have infected actually to fight, but the first breed of zombies is walkers. They are typically Whoa! known as, holy shit. They're typically known as people who have been eaten by infected 
uh, since they're missing large chunks of body, they are they're dead individuals who have reanimated. Uh, That's the best you description guys of these guys. Uh, Is it time already for you to ruin my day? Holy shit, this guy's a fat bastard! Yeah, your kick doesn't do much unless you upgrade it to have a finishing blow. And plus in this game, heart attack is not a cause of death, so drink as many energy drinks as you want. Give me shit weapons now. Where am I supposed to go? Ah, oh, there. You can see that on my uh, map. That's in the bottom right corner. And now we, we have our second infected. Or, uh, second zombie. The infected. They're individuals who. Uh, are very assholes. They're lit. They turn into zombies while alive. Such as the person who gets a bite and lives and turns. So, walkers are dead individuals who turned into zombies. Infected were live individuals who turned into zombies. Since they have more muscle tissue, they have a better chance of becoming fast and aggressive. Long die, you bastard. Let's keep going. Wanna get off the ship this video? Whole damn ship is filling with water. Oh shit, I thought I could get by you. Damn. Ah, it's gonna take a miracle to get out of this one. Holy shit, I should have got rid of him. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Oh, that did not work. I only lost 14 dollars. That's not a party pooper. No cake for you. You die, you lose money. N not that much. And you don't lose too many weapons, so it's not a problem. I am the one who knocks. Okay, they're all dead, so I can just run by these guys. Shit! Fuck, I gotta hold it? Come on, switch weapon something! There we go. Holy hell, I'm drowning. Heal up. Oh, time to activate the fury! Ah, oh, seriously, no more? Uh, I was in fury mode. Fury mode activates once you've killed a bunch of enemies. Enough of tutorial! Let's go murder some zombies! A storm to deal with. Perfect. Oh, nice. Fucking perfect. Weapons. Actual freaking guns. Whoa. Not expecting that, but I need that weapon. There we go. There we go. I'm trying to think. There we go. We have our inventory screen. You just hold the right bumper and you'll pull it up. You're on the bridge. Oh, hell. Fuck you! Saw you! Like a milk star! 
did some damage. Oh, he's headless. Oh shit, he's not dead yet. No way the captain survived that. Need to reach the bridge or we're gonna crash. Okay, let's switch weapons to shower time. Nice! So again, as you can see, since they were dead individuals who were eaten by zombies, they have less muscle tissues. They are much more sluggish, while the infected were humans who turn. They maintain all their muscular tissue, and that results in them going and running like a fast motherfucker. And they seem to carry weapons. Not fun. Switch weapons now. Nice. Golden. Yeah, so typically you can tell if they're dead if they have that little hand symbol above their corpse. Because then you can tell that they have items, they have loot. And only dead things have loot. You know the zombies, that kind of contradicts what I just said. But whatever. Okay, look at that jump. Get the fuck down! That just caught. Let's see, we've got some humans here. Serpo! Stop! What about them? They're your problem now! You can't just leave them here, they're civilians! If I were you, I'd worry about your own survival, Colonel! Serpo! You! Get up here! Captain! Come in! Your captain's dead, soldier! Bloody hell, it's a rock! Holy oh, shit! Yeah, oh. We're on a collision course! We have to get to the bridge! Yeah, we got another problem! Oh, we've got captain. captain! And walkers, and a suicider! Fuck! It's over 9,000! Here they come! Come on, heal up on no, you bastard! Suck it and die. Oh, we got a thug. Hate these bastards. Incoming. Who's next? I don't know who I'm supposed to hit. Those guys are getting up. I'm out of ammo. I mean, you gotta go around. Yikes me. Alose! Let's go. Alose, that's French for let's go, so I'm gonna be saying that a lot because I'm addicted to the tense of Dr. Who. Awesome, I'm addicted on, to that phrase. Okay, uh, let me get in there. You need to find another way Shit. in. Oh, come on, let me get up there. And my fury is unlocked, so I'll probably be using that against the captain. Take the shot like a man. Oh, 
Awesome. Keep you reading the balls and you die. Stay the fuck down! Yeah, oh, poor bastards. Oh, we got our captain over there. Can we activate Fury? Yes, we can! That's it. Yeah, really? <laughs> I can't believe they did that little meme. We need to release the anchor! God rest his soul. Look! But Jesus! Hold on! Well, that's a nice game, guys. Looks like we're dead, so that's all. I'm just joking. There's more to the story. Gotta give the boy points! He came all the way back from the dead to make this shindig happen.